you're a heat and nursing technician or even a sales person, what do you need to know about people who are on your team versus not on your team? And why does it matter? This is a super important question. I'm Scott Simabell coming to you live from Sacramento, California for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and business and a fantastic day to talk about you. Okay, real deal, 100%. When it comes down to it, if you're in a group of people, have some friends, have some associates, there's people who are on your side and there's people who pretend they're on your side and then there's people who are not on your side. And so uh, everybody's got motives, everybody's got their own reasons that they wanna do stuff and everybody's got their own playbooks. So when you start adding all of these in, all these concepts and all these ideas, everybody's got different morals. It's like what I may look at is moral, maybe like way up here. And someone would go like, that's crazy, Scott. Like I'm down here. And so we're gonna have a mismatch. We're not gonna agree. And what's gonna happen is when you take a look and you say, hey, like, what playbook are you playing from? What game are you playing? What it could be is they're like, I'm on team me. It's me first, me second, me third, me fourth, me fifth, and then maybe somebody else sixth, seventh, and eighth. And what happens is sometimes we, including me, find people in our lives that exp expound, <laughs> exude, they, they say, hey, I am on team Scott and you're in my number two spot. But at the end of the day, that's their way of, of getting you to do what needs to be done. That's their way of saying, hey, I need you to take care of these situations. And in, in all reality, you could be in spot number 20. You think you're up here, but you're down here. And this is super important because I will see salespeople, I'll see entrepreneurs get absolutely crushed, crushed emotionally, okay? Hey, I thought this dude was my friend. I thought this chick was my friend. I thought this group was my friend. But at the end of the day, I was being used. And sometimes it comes from naivete, naivete. And sometimes it comes from people just being fake. And so you do need to pay attention to like who's on your team and what playbook are they playing from? What game What game are they playing, right? Super importante, as I like to say, this is super importante. What game are they playing and whose team are, are they on? And this right here is why you should join the email publication. Just go to the browser above my head, type it in. Drop in your name, your email address, your phone number. I'll give you the goods, not the Facebook group, not the YouTube channel. So uh, real deal, I had a technician, service technician reach out to me and uh, we've connected over the years. Hey, Scott, this situation happened. I thought that this person was my friend. I've known them for a long time and I know both of these people. And it was like, oh my goodness, uh, this is gonna, this is kind of like heart wrenching and heart dropping because this person that they were explaining, I'm like, I know all about them. I know the game that they're playing and you know, you're playing checkers and that person's playing chess, right? You're, you're, they're playing baseball and you're playing football. They're playing hockey and you're playing volleyball. Like they could have just be night and day. And this person's known for burning associates, burning people who are their friends. And so you really do need to like really start paying attention to actions, the actions of people. And you're like, like, I trust people, but I verify. Trust, but verify. There's like, well, like my brain goes, hey, there's nine things that are going right here, but there's one thing going wrong. I'm just gonna kind of keep my eye out. If it flips around, they're like, there's nine things wrong and one thing good. My brain's like, this is an eject situation. <laughs> eject, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna put some distance between me and that person. Uh, I'm not gonna make commitments. I'm not gonna agree to anything. I'm not gonna say anything in front of them. Right, because like sometimes it's like uh, it's the things that you say that get you caught up in some drama that you're like, wait a minute, this wasn't meant the way that I said it, and you're taking stuff out of context, right? So be aware of the playbook, the game book, the the games that people are playing around you, and and the outcomes that are going to happen because not everybody that is on your team, like, hey, I'm on team Scott Sylvan Bell, right? Until they're not, or I'm on team fill in your name until they're not, right? So like sometimes what will, what will get in the way of a relationship is friends, other friends, like, ooh, I got new friends. It could be, uh, I want a promotion. Like, hey, in order for me to move up to the next level in my life, I got to push everybody down and uh, it's what I got to do. Or it could be moolah, right? It could be the money. It could be the money. They're like, hey, I'm willing to cut anybody out of my life for the right amount of money. I'm willing to harm any relationship that I've had if the money is okay. So like, you got to realize your playbook, like if you have really high morals, 
If you're judging and you're like, hey, I've got really high morals and you're expecting everybody to live at that level, they don't. They don't. Like most people that you get frustrated with live here or here. And the people that you typically resonate with are the people who have like the same beliefs that you do. And so just be aware. There's going to be a time where you're like, I thought person lived all the way up here. And then you find out, oh, dude or chick is a scumbag. They're like right down here. And it's not until you get burned or somebody around you gets burned that you realize, ah, the gig is up. They are playing from the scumbag playbook. They are playing the scumbag games. And they may talk trash behind you. They may do things to harm you. They may do things to hurt you. And you're like, but I thought you were my friend. Remember, your playbook can be all the way up here and their playbook can be all the way down here and it creates some problems. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button. Click on it. Every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. So click that subscribe. Two, hit follow three. <sighs> you know what you got to do. Share this video with a friend. Tag somebody. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.